Apples have been a favorite fruit for a long time. Listen to the story of Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed was born in Massachusetts, September 1774. His real name was John Chapman. Each September, he celebrated his birthday picking and eating the delicious fruit off the apple tree in his yard. John was 20 when he left home to travel west through the wilderness. All of nature was his friend, flowers, trees, and animals. Although there were bears, wolves, and wildcats in the woods, he never carried a gun. Instead, he carried a deerskin bag filled with apple seeds and planted them on land he cleared. He became known to the pioneers as the Appleseed Man, and soon his real name John Chapman disappeared and everyone greeted him as Johnny Appleseed. Johnny lived a simple life. He wore ragged clothing, often went barefoot, and wore a tin pan on his head to serve the dual purpose of hat and stew pot. He preferred to live in the open forest with his animal companion, a tame wolf. When the pioneers made their way west, they were greeted by Johnny Appleseed and his small apple seedlings. They were happy to plant the seedlings on their new homesteads, as they knew there was no better fruit for the fall and winter than apples. Johnny kept ahead of the pioneers, traveling the known routes west. He planted seedlings along the way, sometimes journeying hundreds of miles to tend to the apple trees in his wild orchards. No cabin door was closed to Johnny. He made every home he entered brighter with stories of his adventures. The pioneers loved to retell his tales after he left. When Johnny Appleseed was 71, he started out in the snow to repair the fence at one of his nurseries. He stopped the night for shelter at the home of a friend. By morning, he was sick and soon died. If you cut open an apple, you will always find seeds inside, a reminder of Johnny Appleseed, the pioneer hero. Johnny Appleseed, the end. <laughs>